So uh, I would say let's get started with our live demo. Yeah. So um, in this demo use case, uh, we want to create a campaign to remind people of the um, most important Corona hygiene rules, um, but in a rather funny and, and most of all sweet way. We're already in the content hub. Uh, we've highlighted the mouse cursor for you so you can better see it. Um, and as you can see here, I've already created a folder. Uh, I now just want to upload my content first. Uh, without animals are always a good choice for making campaigns cuter and funnier. So we want to cover the three rules, uh, washing hands, or in this case, washing paws, um, wearing a mask and social distancing. Now I want to edit the metadata of this image here. So for example, I want to insert a description. Um, I'm going to write, let's just, just a cat. Um, public transport. Um, I want to choose an author. And um, I want this image to be used publicly, so it's not confidential. What else? For now, I don't need the license information. Um, but let's just insert an email address here. OK. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's just save the changes and go back to the overview. So we've uploaded the content and assigned the metadata. Uh, now we need to define that this folder with the images, of course, shall be synced to Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, therefore, we want to edit the collection. Um, yeah, edit. Um, and activate the synchronization to Dynamics 365 right here. Save the changes, and now let me reload the page. Yep. Um, so now you can see the bullets on the assets. So the, these icons here visualize that, um, that the, what the content is being uh, synchronized. If I open the detail view and go to the external reference, uh, you can see the public URL from the Asia CDN, which has already been generated. Good. So we've updated the content, enriched it with metadata, and activated the sync. Um, you can structure your assets by folders, as you can see here, or by keywords. Now I want to add or rather link those three images here to a specific keyword in the keyword structure. So I do that with add to functionality and choose the, the keyword structure. Just click through the structure, dynamics, animals, and choose the advice animals keyword. Good, save. And um, that's it for now with the content part. So Patrick, let's switch to the dynamics. Yeah, thank you very much, Johanna. Um, so let's switch. What you see now is uh, of the Dynamics marketing application. Now I'm excited as a marketing person can access my Celum asset right here inside Dynamics uh, files. You can see all our Simulum files are already sorted in a system view called Celum files, which is provided by our integration. For example, you also find the social distancing cat right here. See all the metadata was automatically transferred. And also the keywords from Celum were created and assigned automatically to the asset. So if we go back in the overview, we see there's only a um, read-only grid overview. This one is also provided by the extension to you. And you can customize it to show all the information you need right here. For example, here we could use the uh, second file path to the assets we need by the uh, folder it was added to. Or we could also use the um, Serum ID to find that we need, if we know it beforehand. So now let's get back into our default system uh, file view. And now I want to show you one more way to filter your assets from Serum. This is by filter by keyword. I only want to see the advice animals. We want to use in our campaign. 
And thanks to the keyword that was created um, by our designer in Zeno, we can see all our assets we need for our marketing campaign. So now our assets are all ready to be used in our marketing campaign. We can start with a social media post right here. I already prepared one for tomorrow for Twitter called Cute Animal Advice. And all I want to do now is add an image from Sedum to it. So I use the Add Media button. And now here in the pop-up, I see all files that are in dynamic. And if I only want to see the ones from Sedum, we just use a Sedum keyword that was added and created automatically. And now you only see your Sedum message. Um, I think in this case, I will just go with the dog mask wearing advice. And you see in the preview, it looks like you um, updated it natively, uh, uploaded it natively to Dynamics. So once we're done, we just um, save and close it. And now our Twitter post is ready to go live tomorrow. Um, so this is the first use um, I wanted to show you for the Sedum integration. Then there are also um, events in Dynamics Marketing. So for example, we could have a webinar planned to show you all kinds of advice animals. And all we were waiting for was the event image from Selum. So let's open it, go to website and formula right here. And um, here we can select an event image. Again, the same pop-up from before opens, and we just quickly um, filter it by the Sedum keyword. I think we go with the Kitty search this time. I think that's a good choice for the webinar. Okay, now that we are done, we can save it. And now you've seen already two ways um, how you can use methods right inside of Dynamics marketing uh, to create campaigns. So now that we know those use cases, time to get a little more complex. Right here below um, the keywords and files, we find the content blocks category. Content blocks allow you in Dynamics to create um, a content block once, and then you can use it multiple times in different areas. I created one called advice block, and they allow you to include text and image blocks. So let's see, do we have any images that provide advice to achieve social distancing? I think we actually do. Um, we just go to the properties, to image source, image source, and we to choose the social distancing bit. Let's see, do we have any advice how to wear the mask correctly? Yep, we already saw that one. Um, the dog knows how to wear it correctly. Maybe there's anything else you want to advise to our target audience? Maybe we should advise them to wash their paws always. I think this is good advice for our campaign. So now our content block is ready. We can activate it. And uh, once we save it, we can also preview it. And I think, yeah, that looks really professional. So now our content block is ready and it's ready to be used in multiple places, as I just mentioned. For example, let's use it in a marketing page. Uh, you can find marketing pages. Um, let me have a look. Um, ah, right here. I already prepared one called um, Newsletter for Animal Advice. Um, let's open it. That, uh, this newsletter would allow a user to register for the monthly Animal Advice newsletter. I think this would be a good fit for the content block we just created. You find it under Toolbox, under Basic Elements, and then you can just drag and drop it into your marketing page. As a source, we then can simply select the content block by name we just created. And there it is already. And it's ready to be used. 
And as always, when you find the kind of editor inside the Dynamics Marketing application, you can also include images from Serum directly by using the basic element called image. And yeah, there's the pop-up again we already seen before. And in this case, I will just go with the Serum logo. So to use it in a marketing email, we simply just activate it now. I ignore this for now, <laughs> wait for it to be published. And once it's published, we can save and close it. So our marketing page is live. Time to use it in a marketing email. Uh, you find marketing emails right here above social media posts. And um, in your marketing email, marketing pages are available right next to content blocks under advanced elements. And again, we can simply look for the marketing page name we just created called newsletter for advice. So once more, or once again, you could also include them with content blocks or image the single assets. So let's save this uh, marketing email. So you've seen many now. Um, by ASCO, we access our Serum assets right inside the Dynamics Marketing app, mainly in the template section for uh, form templates, page templates, and email templates. I will quickly show you one way. Um, this again opens the editor we already know and we are very familiar with by now. Um, and here you have the image basic element. But we are not going to do that now, as we've seen it multiple times. So let's get back into our files overview to see what happened to our Xenom assets in the background while we use them. Mm, let's go to the doc mask. So first of all, you see the asset um, was automatically locked by the connector because it's in use now. And also all usages are um, locked at the bottom. So for example, we just used it in a social post or cute anime advice. Then uh, we used an advice block called content block. And we used it in a marketing page called newsletter for anime advice afterwards indirectly in the content block. So this allows you to always know exactly where you use your Serum assets inside the Dynamics Marketing application. All right, so um, let's switch back to our designer to do the content. Thank you. Um, so we're back in the content hub. Uh... Let me just switch. Yep. So we're back in the content hub. Um, now, if you hover over the, the bullets, you get the information that these assets are currently being used uh, in Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, also, the, uh, the lock icon is visible on the assets as well. So assets that are used in Dynamics are automatically locked in content hub. Let's open the detail view where you now can see the uh, details to usage and file ID, uh, which is written back from um, Microsoft Dynamics into the Content Hub. So you do not have to leave the Content Hub. You can view directly in the Content Hub where the asset is being used within Dynamics. For example, the social distancing cat is used in marketing page and content block. Uh, good, so what happens? Um, yeah, what happens if I put a new version? So how does that work? Um, let me choose a unlocked asset, this one here. Uh, let me just upload a new version for this image. Good, previously generated, so you will see the difference right away. Now I also want to change the name in the edit mode. Change it to more and of quick edition and save and okay that's it let's switch back to dynamics puppet. all right thank you once again 
Let's see what changed uh, now. So back in Dynamics, uh, we do a quick refresh. The new version was already um, transferred. And all the metadata, in this case, the display name, was immediately transferred to Dynamics automatically. All right. Um, so this concludes our uh, demo session.